Hi everyone, this is Darlene Morant with Life Awfully Simple and today's video is going to be a quick one about getting a diaper change without getting yourself peed on or pooped on. Now, the big thing about having a diaper change is you want to be prepared. And when I say prepared is you want to come in having your diaper ready. You want to have the diaper ready and have it opened and in position in order to make this successful. So we have the baby here. I have a dummy so I can show you guys. Well, not a dummy, but you know, a little baby. And we have wipes. You want to have wipes. So it doesn't have to be this brand, but you want to have the wipes ready and have the case open so that you're ready to go. Or if you have a wipe dispenser, then you're just taking it and pulling it out. And some type of ointment. So whether it's a triple paste, which this is the one that I'm using here, triple paste has zinc oxide in it. So if your baby has a diaper rash of some sort, this would be a great one to use. And I'm not advertising for them, but I'm just saying, giving you an option. Or you could use aquaphor, which is almost like a Vaseline. And that it just helps to give a moisture barrier in between the baby's skin and, you know, the diaper so that you can prevent diaper rashes if at all possible. So today for a baby change, you're just gonna do real quick things, okay? It has to be real quick movements. Some people do it differently, but this is how I would do it. So make sure, like I said, you're prepared, baby's ready to be changed. So you put the baby on the um, changing pad or on the floor or on wherever surface, make sure it's flat. And for babies, if they're older, you want to have a toy or something handy that they like to play with so that you don't you know, get too much movement, too much trouble. But what I would do when you're ready is just, okay, this one, baby's wearing a onesie. So you get the onesie off, right? Or get the onesie pulled up so that it's out of the way. It's out of harm's way of getting peed on, pooped on. And you need to move a little quickly. I'm gonna go slow so you guys can see. But if the baby has on an underpants, of course, you want to take that off completely. And if not, then you want to just make sure that the diaper is ready to be off. And at that point, diaper comes off and you're going to just take the new diaper. See, I have it open and everything. And you're going to lift the baby's legs up and swoop the new diaper in. Okay, so you pull out the old diaper and you swoop the new diaper in. Now, after you do that is when you're going to wipe and clean and do what you need to do. So you're going to take the wipe, you're going to have a wipe, and you wipe if it's girls, but, um, front to back. If it's boys, sometimes you can put a teepee like that on the front and then you use another wipe and wipe the area to clean off. That just helps you cover in case they start to pee some more. Okay, so I'm hoping that you guys can 